Hey, it's Alex from Android Central, and this is the Honor 7. It's the latest one from Huawei's Honor sub-brand, which builds on last year's Honor 6 by bumping up specs and build quality and adding a few interesting new features. On the outside, the Honor 7's Huawei design heritage is clear to see. In design terms, it's basically a shrunken down Ascend Mate 7. Aside from the smaller 5.2-inch 1080p screen, it really is a spitting image of last year's big-screened Huawei phone. There's an attractive metal shell with cutouts top and bottom for antennas, and around the back there's a new fingerprint scanner with a few neat tricks of its own. On the inside, the Honor 7 runs Huawei's own Kirin 935 CPU, which is basically a higher clocked version of the Kirin 930 that we saw in the P8 earlier this year. It's a 64-bit octa-core CPU. And unsurprisingly, the Honor 7 handled day-to-day -day app use and multitasking with ease, in part thanks to its ample 3GB of RAM. When it comes to storage, you've got 16 gigs built in out of the box, with room for more via a microSD slot. And the SD slot here actually doubles as a second SIM slot as well, so you can run in dual SIM mode if you're not using external storage. That probably won't be a huge deal for most normal buyers in the UK, but if you're a frequent traveller, then that might be useful. Honor's camera experience has been upgraded too. There's a sharper 5 megapixel front facer, along with a new front facing flash to do away with those blurry grainy selfies. The rear camera has been upgraded to Sony's new IMX230 image sensor as well, which shoots at up to 20 megapixels through an f2.0 lens. There's no optical stabilisation though, which means it's far from great in low light, but daylight shots frequently suck in plenty of detail with only minimal noise. The full suite of Huawei camera features is on board too, including the light painting and soft water mode seen on the P8, though you will need to stabilise the phone with a tripod for these to work properly. A lot of what we saw on the software side of the Huawei flagship carries over to the Honor 7 as well, and that's a good thing and a bad thing. EMUI 3.1, which is based on Android 5.0 Lollipop, performs well and has a bunch of genuinely useful features. For starters, it's easy to juggle between sims through this menu. There's a programmable action key on the side, which you can tie to pretty much any app for a single, double, or long press. And that rear-mounted fingerprint sensor can be used not only for security, but to swipe down for the notification shade, or swipe up to view recent apps. The problem is that so much of the design of EMUI is as heavy-handed as ever. The look and feel of Lollipop and material design is smothered beneath Huawei's UI, and that includes annoying icon changes that often just look really bad. Even with access to an abundance of themes and wallpapers from Huawei's theme portal, it's hard to get the Honor 7 looking as good as the Android of 2015 looks to begin with. And then there's the whole system of privileged apps and notification management that's intended to make life easier and make it easy to keep tabs on apps, but in practice just adds mental overhead. At least battery life itself shouldn't be a concern, with a sizable 3100mAh battery built in. And actually, our real-world use tied pretty closely to Honor's own claims, comfortably over a day with heavy usage patterns, or up to two days with moderate use. The biggest battery hog here seemed to be the camera, but that's by no means unique to this phone. So that's a quick look at the Honor 7. At £249 off contract, it's staggeringly good value for money, beating the Moto X Play on build quality and bringing high-end features to a more affordable price point. But if you favour a lighter touch when it comes to software, you might be put off by Huawei's highly customised software and apps. For more on the Honor 7, check out our full review on androidcentral.com.